Iris News tonight. Just a day after the governor relaxed statewide safety guidelines, one central Iowa community is doing the same. KCCI's Lauren Johnson explains why and why another city is choosing to keep its own requirements in place. We know what we need to do, and it doesn't require a gov government mandate to do it. On Wednesday, Governor Reynolds says she's confident Iowans will stop the spread of COVID-19 without a statewide mask mandate. Without that guidance, communities are encouraged to do what's best for their residents. The resolution we passed this last Monday was just a resolution uh, incur strongly, uh, strongly recommending the use of face coverings in Carroll County. Previously, the county had mandated wearing masks. This change wasn't something the health department advised. Well, they were they were kind of wanting us to stay mandated yet, but uh, we went to this other way. It was better than having nothing. And while Carroll County's seven-day positivity rate sits under both the state and national average at 5%, other communities say they aren't budging on their restrictions. It's uh, unfortunate that, you know, there has been a, a letting up uh, in other parts of the state in Des Moines, Mayor Frank County says now isn't the time to let up, even with the vaccine rollout. I don't think that that's significant enough yet to uh, to be there. I think we got to be diligent. Let's hope we get more vaccinations and we can get them out uh, more efficiently and, and more expeditiously. The mayor says the decision to lessen mandates within city limits will come from the guidance of health care workers. When I feel that our health care officials um, you know, give me sort of a thumbs up that, hey, we're seeing really a lot of positive progress here. Uh, let's work together and maybe we can start easing uh, things up. And Governor Reynolds says that her decision to loosen up these restrictions came as infections in the state have been going down. She says her decision to either loosen up restrictions or make them tighter once again always comes from data provided by the Iowa Department of Public Health. Reporting in Des Moines, Lauren Johnson, KCCI 8 News, I was news leader.